So we're in the University of Manitoba Archives and Special Collections. I'm Nicole Courier, I'm the Reference and Discovery Archivist, and I'm interviewing Shelley Sweeney, Head of Archives, and it is November 15th, 2018. So Shelley, you have an interesting item there. Could you tell me a little bit more about it? Sure. Um, this is the Deed of Trust and release regarding residuary estate of Alexander Kennedy is Bister, and it was granted to the University of Manitoba, and the date is the 31st of May, 1884. So how did the University of Manitoba Archives and Special Collections come into possession of the will? Well, um, as a matter of fact, they contacted us. It was the British Records Association. Um, these records were going to be destroyed, and so they sent us a note uh, to ask us whether we would be interested in receiving this material. And we said, absolutely, of course we would be. So when did you receive the will? Well, we received it in March of 2017, but coincidentally, before we were even notified of this material, um, we were uh, discussing the 140th anniversary of the University of Manitoba, which was 2017, and the uh, marketing communications office had asked us whether we would be uh, willing to do displays and other um, uh, research and, and uh, activities relating to the theme of diversity. So when I was trying to figure out a theme that would fit with uh, the overall theme, um, I was thinking that Alexander Kennedy as Bister would be the best person to focus our activities on. And the reason I thought that is because Alexander Kennedy as Bister was Métis. He was here from uh, the Red River Colony uh, era, and he ended up in England, and while he was there, he made his fortune and wrote some very uh, critical textbooks. And um, when he died, he actually set up scholarships for students to attend the University of Manitoba. He also left us his library. But the thing that was most interesting about him is that the will specified that the uh, students, regardless of gender, um, color, uh, ethnicity, uh, or um, their uh, religious affiliation, would be able to apply for these funds. So he totally believed in um, the theme of diverse, uh, diversity and he was very supportive of education and um, obviously I think being Métis himself, uh, he was very concerned that everybody be given an equal chance. I mean, he was so far ahead of his time, it's you know just amazing. Can you talk a little bit about his Vister and his book collection? Yeah, and well, you know, sadly, the uh, books were in the McIntyre block, and that entire collection went up in flames in the 1800s, uh, late 1800s, after we had received the collection. So we don't actually know very much about the book collection that he left us, but we did have other um, deeds uh, or wills that came from his estate, which uh, outlined the... the um, outlined his plan for providing money for these scholarships. Has anyone ever opened the will before at the archives? I don't even, it doesn't even look like anybody's opened it, but definitely we haven't opened it yet. So you're going to open it for the first time today in the archives? We are going to open it for the first time, so everyone will be seeing it at the same time as, uh, as I do. Okay, do you have anything else to say about the will? Uh, no, just that it's, um, it's vellum and, um, uh, you know, obviously handwritten and um, I don't know at all what to expect, but I'm, I'm very excited about this. So I'm just going to now undo. So these are the, the document uh, identifiers that were added by the British Records Association. So here it says Mrs. Isbister and Miss Isbister and the University of Manitoba and um, Charles Robert Hodgson Esquire 
Oh, release in respect of an annuity and in respect of the residuary estate in England of Alexander Kennedy is Mr. Esquire deceased. So here we have, you can see how the resistance of the documents that this is, um, these documents are uh, made of calf skin. And so here we have a shilling. It says E shillings, oh, 10 shillings. 10 shillings and then 1884. I guess it's just got the 84. Um, this in indenture made the 31st day of May, 1884, between Mary Isbister of number 20 Milner Square in the county of Middlesex, widow and uh, Eliza is Bister of the same place, spinster of the first part. The University of Manitoba, a corporation duly incorporated by the legislature of the province of Manitoba in North America and here and after called the University of the second part. So here we have the um, very long, lengthy um, description of uh, where the university is, and let me see, it looks like. Um, and bequeath to my mother, Mary is Bister, and to my sister, Eliza is Bister, aforesaid, jointly or to the survivor of them, absolutely, their or her heirs, executors, and administrators, all my household furniture and effects with my plate, linen, pictures, and household utensils of all kinds, together with a sum of 100 pounds sterling for current expenses and for their permanent maintenance. I desire that a sum of 300 pounds annually shall be set aside. So I guess what it is, is basically um, setting out uh, what he will um, give to support his family and then the university is going to, um, so it, it looks like actually that the money was turned over to the university. I particularly would request that my executors shall in conjunction with the governing body of the Manitoba University take such steps as shall secure the constant and punctual payment of this annual sum to support his family. And so then it just goes on about what's going to happen to the rest of his estate. So you can see how crunchy this is, but still well over a hundred years and doing quite well. And we have some little notes in here. Archibald. Huh. I'm not even sure if I can read that. And so then a uh, lots of whereasses and whereasses. Um, third day of July, 1883. Oh yes, the third day of July, 1883. So lots of about the indentures and releases and and all about the estate so here are the funeral expenses and debts from the deceased pe uh, pecuniary legacies and then here are the, um, the critical addresses, or uh, sorry, signatures. So that's it.